Hello everyone, and welcome to our one millionth diaper event. My name is Gregory Scott, President and CEO of Community Action Partnership of Orange County, or Capital C. Did you know that one in three families experience diaper need in the United States? Assemblywoman Gonzalez recognized the immense need for diapers, and that there was no federally funded programs available to assist families in purchasing diapers for their babies. Here in Arts County, diapers are among the most requested, yet least available items at our food bank. The extraordinarily high cost of housing in Arts County creates an economic environment in which many families struggle to meet their basic needs. At the start of 2019, the Arts County community voices support for a publicly supported diaper bank through letters of support petitions. Senator Tom Unberg and Assemblymember Tom Daly requested $1.7 million from the state of California for Capo C to establish a formal diaper bank. Our group effort led to success and Capo C became the fifth California community to establish a diaper bank. Let's hear from two of the people who have championed their efforts to secure diaper bank funding in California. Hi, I'm Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez. Hi, this is State Senator Tom Umberg giving a shout out to the Community Action Partnership of Orange County. I want to congratulate you on giving away your one millionth diaper. Thank you for all that you've done here in this time of crisis. There's so many more families that are in need and you've really stepped up to be of help. Together in California, we've been able to change the conversation about diaper need and taking on an issue that people weren't even thinking about a few years ago. It's amazing the work that's being done in Orange County and the number of babies that are going to bed happy, clean, and dry. The number of parents who aren't worrying about where their next diaper is going to come from or if they have to choose between buying a fresh set of diapers or food for their children. I want to particularly thank Natalie Anderson and Gregory Scott and Mark Lowry and all the volunteers that have reached out to those who need diapers and all sorts of other necessities to be so helpful. We here in Sacramento are pleased to be able to support your effort, but it's you who make the difference. Thank you. Thank you so much for the work you're doing, and again, congratulations. Thank you, State Senator Unberg and Assemblywoman Gonzalez. We couldn't have done it without you. Prior to the start of our diaper bank, Capital C had in place a four-year ongoing partnership with Home Aid Orange County, where once a year we facilitate the collection and distribution of 750,000 diapers, as well as other baby items. Although this is a great event, it's not a year-round service. Our diaper bank was still in the finalization process when COVID-19 pandemic began. Rather than continuing our plan later start date, we saw the increased need for diapers in the community and decided to launch our diaper bank program early. The way our diaper bank functions is through partnerships with other nonprofits. Rather than provide a direct service, we work with, with about 45 diaper bank partners who then provide diapers to their communities. Let's hear from one of our fantastic partners now, Families Forward. Hi, I'm Madeline Hernice with Families Forward. And at Families Forward, our mission is to end and prevent family homelessness through housing, career, counseling, education, and other support services. But of course, our food pantry and diaper services have seen an incredible need during these times of COVID. Thank you so much for the generous partnership between CAPOC and Families Forward. Of course, through the OC Food Bank and through the Diaper Bank, your generous support during these times have been overwhelming and we are so appreciative and thankful for your partnership. Thank you, Madeline. We truly appreciate your partnership as well. The great work we have accomplished through securing funding for this program and getting the program off the ground would mean nothing if we weren't getting the diapers into the hands of those that need them. Here are a few families who have benefited from this program. Thank you for the donation. It means a lot. I've been affected by COVID and uh, my hours were cut and I have many difficulties to get uh, my baby's needs, but this is really, really helpful for me. Thank you. Buenas tardes, gracias por los pañales. Este, me ayudan bastante porque me ahorra dinero, son muy caros. Muchas gracias porque ya puedo usar ese dinero para otras cosas. Muchas gracias por los pañales. It truly warms my heart to know that all of our hard work is creating such positive change in the lives of those we serve. 
Oh wait, I'm getting word now that Natalie Anderson, our diaper bank manager, has identified our one million diaper recipient at a family's forward distribution. Let's go. with Elisa, who just received our one million diaper. Let's hear from her now. So Elisa, thank you so much for coming today. How has COVID-19 impacted you in Ireland's life? It's uh, impacted it completely. Um, everything's different, but, but the new normal is the only thing that she knows. She's only nine months old and it's, um, for me, very scary. She has no idea of the worries I go through every day. Um, going shopping is like getting ready for battle, you know, with all the PPE that you put on. And um, so hopefully when she gets a little bit older, she'll be able to know what kind of struggle we went through and we'll be looking forward from this, but who's to say that that will be anytime soon, so. It, 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 it's scary. I have to get a babysitter to go grocery shopping because <laughs> I don't want to bring my daughter with me. And it, it's, um, yeah, times are tough right now. Very, very uncertain and, you know, just scary. And how has the diaper bank program helped you during this time? Oh, wow. It's, they've been such a blessing. Um, not having to worry about, you know, if my daughter's diaper's wet, she gets changed. I don't have to keep one on her because I'm worrying about running out. You know, I, I have a, a, and she's really big. So she's grown out of certain sizes, like within a week. And I, I'm just grateful that nothing has gone to waste because I've been able to donate them to somebody else. And that I've always had a, a, a plentiful supply of diapers, I mean, that struggle it hasn't occurred to me, but I've seen other moms struggle with it. And it's, I'm so grateful. I, I feel very blessed. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you, Natalie. If you could say thank you to everyone that's involved in this program, what would you say? Thank you, Family Forward. Thank you, Community Action Partnership, EVOC. Um, God bless you all. Thank you so much for coming together and having this available to people like me. And I know anybody and everybody can use a little help once in a while. And this is such a great thing to, you know, I, I can rest assured during these uncertain times because of something like this. And I'm so grateful for it. Thank you. Thank you. We're really happy that we can help you during this time, especially during a time of crisis, and we really appreciate you sharing your story with us. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Natalie. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. And with that, we have just distributed our one million diaper. Back to you, Mr. Scott. Thank you, Natalie, and congratulations to our one million diaper recipient. Thank you so much for attending our event. If you would like to support the Diaper Bank or any of our other great Capital C programs, please visit catoc.org slash donate. Thank you again and take care.